Steve from Pretty for Clever 18 here today with my LEGO City update on LEGO City Day here on YouTube. Today I'm starting back on update number one just because it is a brand new city. Over here in the city I have made an entrance, as you can see some cars are coming in and some cars are leaving, so this basically is just an entrance and exit for the city, you know, just because there's got to be some spots and there's actually one at the other end. Besides the entrance and exit on the right end, or the right side, here I have this Bricka Hut pizza place, which is the exact same as the Lego pizza place, just with a Bricka Hut sticker on the front there. Right beside that I have my custom corner gas, gas station and Ruby Cafe mock. And as well as the bank. Here we go. The bank, you know, and there's a little robbery in progress. I actually just threw all my corner gas figures there. I'm going to do some work to that. And actually beside the other side of the entrance is a custom, semi-custom, hospital. So I have the hospital helicopter rescue set right there. And then I actually, when you move this out of the way, have uh, one of the police stations, one of the LEGO City police stations, just the one part of it. I didn't really need two police stations in my city, so I actually changed all the door frames out to make them white, and I'm, or I'm in the process of adding some more blue lights, just to give that a more hospital feel, and I've added red where the blue used to be to continue it across the hospital, and here on the other side I actually have the garage where the or ambulance is supposed to be, and I have a little construction site set up all the way around here right now, as you can see it's blocking one lane of traffic. And there are the two ambulances. They're just like temporary right there beside the fire station. Well, I'm talking about it. Here is the fire station. I have a couple fire trucks right here. And there's just actually a couple things thrown there because I didn't know what to do with them. And I basically am trying to tone down on the amount of vehicles I have in my city because too many vehicles just doesn't look right. So those, I'm going to probably put one more fire truck in there just to keep it pretty good. Here I actually have a police compound. I have the police station here with some police vehicles and more police vehicles and I actually have designed this little there's a helicopter in my way this little gate area so that it comes back like this lets vehicles go in and out and then moves back to keep people unwanted people out and wanted people in and then I had this bus that actually got destroyed I was actually uh, playing around a little and I hit it with a train and I lost some of the pieces for it I found them but I put them in my storage bin and I just have to rebuild it. It's just one of those things. I think it kind of looks cool. It looks like there was a wreck and that's in the like, you know, impound lot at the police station. I call it this whole plaza here like Hero's Way or Police Park just because it's behind all the other buildings and that's all it is. There's only a hospital, there's only a fire station and there's only a police station. Nothing else on this road because it is a dead end. Coming along this side of the road here, you have all my modulars. So I have the Palace Cinema, the official LEGO set. I have my NCIS building. And you're probably wondering, how did you do the NCIS building? In case you may know, in my other city, the NCIS building was over here, a lot lower, and it actually had basement floors. And unfortunately, with this new table, I can't put basement floors in the building. So what I actually did is designed it. So when you look underneath here, oh my gosh, there's nothing there. It's literally just on a base plate. Does that mean I got rid of the evidence garage, Abby's lab, and the autopsy room? Absolutely not. I've actually just put them up here on a shelf. There's the rest of the building right there. And I've actually designed it so I can literally, with two hands, not so I can't do it in this video, I can literally just pick this NCIS building up and place it on the other base plate. So that's very cool. Here I have the black modular, which I called it a skyscraper, but people argue that it isn't a skyscraper, so whatever. It's, I call it the I call it a skyscraper, and that's what it looks like. I've changed a lot of the colors out just to make that look better. Next to the Lego store mock, the Lego store up there, and of course we have the white, what I call a skyscraper, what other people just call a building, you know, with the booster juice down here, a gun shop up here, a dollar store here, and an Apple store here. I guess this is a. a up here is the dentistry, we have a radio station, and a pet store, and then the Tim Hortons. So I'm continuing to move along here, we have the Grand Emporium, one of my, my probably my, one of my favorite Lego sets just because it looks so cool in my city and I really like it. 
And here along the whole front of the building we have train tracks running as well as just a bunch of vehicles driving around. Beside the Grand Emporium here we have the same little park entrance. So I like the entrance to do it with these doors I got in the Lego Hall that I just really like. I think they look very cool. Come in here we have a little park area for the kids to play in. You know this thing spins around and there's a little fountain. We have a little picnic table here and a bench and a lady's got her credit card out but she better watch out because this criminal's gonna steal it. We have like a strawberry booth here that apparently got fastened even though it wasn't supposed to. A bread booth. We have some police officers stopping the, these criminals while there's being a press conference on this. A little girl riding around on a tricycle. Over here the Dairy Queen, oh I forgot to say this is a museum. Over here at the Dairy Queen Mock we have a, somebody going in for some ice cream and a lady with her dog. We have a hot dog vendor, somebody riding on a bike, somebody riding on a Segway. We have this custom Lego fountain right here, a mock. As well as this Lego giraffe from the, the Jeffrey, I think his name is, from Toys R Us. I really like that set. Ah, I think. I can't be certain, but I think my cat actually was playing in my city because I'm finding a lot of knocked over pieces, especially here in the park. Here we have like a little magic show going on as well as the ladies enjoying the fire. And then we have two of my other favorite buildings in the city. We have the bike shop and cafe set. I love these buildings and they're out looking over the water. And then we have this little strip here with some flowers. I originally said how I was not going to add a water area to my city, but I decided that it was time to add one. It's three base plates big. It's in an L shape and I really, really like it. So over here I have a little strip of a beach with mini figures playing in the sand, you know, there's some guy relaxing and I have a really nice palm tree with a monkey, which I really like the monkey piece. I just have some very small boats, you know, playing around and actually here I designed this rock feature just so, you know, it can actually have Lego buildings and stuff part of the city after that. I have this little log cabin here which is actually the crook's hideaway. They're bad, but the police actually don't know yet, even though there's nothing but crooks all the way around. I have like a little mountain here at the bottom, which I hope to someday incorporate a waterfall into. I think that would be very cool. And here I just have like this uh, this creator set. It's part of a mountain, and it's got like a treehouse, and I just thought that fit really well there. And over here on this part of the city, it is my residential area, which is not really much of a residential area because there's only three houses. But that is three more houses than my last city held. I have the apple tree house here, the family, well, I don't remember what that, that house is, and then this older house actually, this three story townhouse from several years ago, and I've just kind of decked this out to look like more residential area, you know, I've added some trees and some road signs just to make it look more, you know, resident -y. you know, some cars there, all grass because that's what I want it to look like, and that's really it. So now what you've all been waiting for, let's take a look at their terrain. In the city layout, I have decided to put my white passenger train in the city just because it's newer and I really like the look of it. Thanks everybody for watching my very first city update on my new city this April 1st. My city looks pretty complete right now, but as any LEGO City builder will know, the LEGO City is never complete and changes happen all the time, whether they be expected or unexpected. As I said, thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned for my next update, which is going to be May 1st, which really seems like that far away, but guess what? It's not. It's going to be here before we know it. Oh no, the train was going too fast and it fell off the track. Do you guys want your money back?